Okay, um, this is Rani Ahmed. This is the second lesson in TKTCL and uh, programming language, and we're talking about uh, variables and uh, string manipulation and uh, input output I/O for short uh, in uh, using the keyboard and uh, as an as an input. Okay. And uh, now I'm gonna start with uh, strings. Strings is just a sequence of characters, like here. Okay. Now I'm going I'm using this this character just as a separation, okay? So as if each one is uh, as if each character, not each one, in uh, a uh, in a separate box, but they together, okay, constitute a string. So it's a sequence of characters, okay? And the character at index, there's something called index, which is the position, okay, in this thing. The position at number zero, the index at number zero is the first one. So we start counting from like this: zero, one, two. Not you don't count as one, two, three. You count zero, one, two, three. Okay, again, you count zero, one, two, three, not one, two, three. Okay. So the first character S here is at number zero. Okay. Now, um, uh. Now we're using here wish as our interpreter. Okay, it's here, just for your uh, knowledge uh, and your information. This is uh, uh, this is not really a totally a command. This is what you say that this program, this file, this executable file, okay, this binary file is what's gonna read what's below this and executed okay that's all so I'm using here which which is the window shell okay uh, not TCL shell TCL SH okay instead let me write it here okay now, if I use this, there. This means that there, inside the code, there is a graphical interface code, and if I use this, it will not interpret the graphical interface uh, code simply. Okay, so I'm gonna delete this because there's some graphical interface code. Okay, now. Um, okay. Now I made a variable. How, what's a variable is just some place in memory. I refer to it through a name. Okay, it's like what you do used to do in calculus and math. Okay, just any variable. So this variable co uh, it does not uh, contain a number. It contains a string. Okay, a whole sentence. Okay, we call it a quest, which means a question. Okay, and I made an answer for it. Okay, which is Uh, using this command named string and it takes the index so this is a sub command the index here is a sub command and takes the string quest using a dollar the dollar means refer to this variable okay at index number six which is here the character number seven in our usual counting from one so uh, this means uh, get me what's there at index number six which is the position seven in our normal counting from one okay get me what's there okay and using those uh, square brackets output them and set them to and assign them to ans which is the answer so I'm taking number six okay the end of all time it means here this e okay But I'm just yeah, taking any other number. So this is six. Okay. Um, uh, now I'm making a label, which is, let me see. Okay. So uh, this here question is a label. 
answer here is another label so I'm making here another answer another label let me make this always on top so, so I'm making this label and inside the code I named it as dot question okay and it will take question and dollar request this means that I'm replacing the uh, the dollar quest with this so that's why it will come question colon and replace this with this okay so you'll get all this okay now I have in the answer in the label named answer another text okay the dash text is an option of the label okay so you can t uh, set the text that's gonna be shown that's going to be shown here okay uh, so I'm using answer then this answer will be placed here and this also will be replaced end means uh, get me the ending index okay however long the uh, string is okay which means this the question mark minus one means this e okay so I'm so I'm saying like the last index here and go backwards by one so this one it will be e now now what's what's the matter with this if I want to show the double quotes or want to show the dollar sign okay uh, I have to use a backslash which we call it which which by this method we call it call escaping okay so character escaping why I'm escaping from the uh, interpreter okay so I'm getting rid of the ca uh, not getting it I'm like uh, not just escaping you just like say, saying to the interpreter okay uh, don't uh, say that this is an error okay this is part of the sentence so it can let me show as here the double quotes okay now um, so that's why I use a backslash okay now uh, going uh, down okay I wanna get another uh, label make another label called substring and take the text of the label to be the substring using this command which is using the range command range sub command sorry okay so I got the string command get from it the substring uh, command which is the range sub command and use that variable which is my string which is the dollar request and then call uh, get the substring I mean from number six till number nine okay so from index six to index nine okay so after calculation you must find it and after you count them you must find that it is here the one that I highlighted now okay if you count count from 0 till 6 so s at okay so output the command this by using the square brackets so you'll get s space at okay so this is how you chop off something okay to take it away so this chop is from 6 to 9 and I use pack just to put them on the uh, main window of the interpreter of the shell interpreter okay so this is how I uh, define a string this is how I take a substring and this is how I take a character of a string at any time uh, at any point in it at any index 
now I'm gonna take all this okay, and comment it by the way just to get comments command code and uncommand code so to get this uh, those uh, uh, entries in the uh, menu you go to preferences and G edit and go to plugins and select this code command okay you will find it it will be shown so I'm gonna comment all this just for now and save it and first of all I must add this and add this and add this because those are already comments so if I go like this I uncomment them of course you have to save your changes always and I must kill the program here and uncomment code so because those are commands already I fixed them <coughs> so um, now I'm gonna tell you how to read from the keyboard on the shell okay so control L on the shell is to clear screen so I'm gonna do the following after I commented all that okay the top part okay now this top part is not is, is not working it's off and now what you're gonna do is tuck, run it so here I can use the command puts to write me something or type me something on the screen and sh display something on the screen which is uh, enter the first number okay now if I want to read from the uh, from the comma keyboard I use this command which is guest gets and I must use this part here which we call the channel so this is what channel are you reading from from where you're reading from usually in C++ uh, terms we call it the file descriptor okay this is where I'm reading from okay so uh, I'm using the keyboard the keyboard is the standard input the usual input so this is called stdn okay? so I'm saying gets from the stdn which is the keyboard usually and set them to a variable named x okay similarly I I, uh, I repeat it with a second number so I'm put I'll put one two for example here and the second number will be three so I've I, if I want to sum as I told you in lesson one you use the expression command and dollar $x to get the value of x plus the dollar $y and get the value of y and this here will to puts will take the string and replace the dollar $x with 2 and y will be replaced with 3 and the command here will be calculated and giving me 5 so if I press enter again this is it now what's with this? This is because I'm using wish interpreter, okay? Not the TCLSH, okay? Not the TCLSH, and this is our program, okay? You can do whatever. I can, uh, for example, for one of, multiply. Let's repeat it. So it's the first number is two, second number is three, and I get six, okay? And as I told you, this is because of the shell interpreter of which, okay, and there's nothing to pack or something like that, just like using the pack command just to put on this window. Okay, and that's our program. Thanks for watching. Okay.